Since ancient times, the emergence of some geniuses has provided important assistance to the development of the country where they are located. If it weren't for their efforts, the world's technological development level would not have achieved such a huge improvement in a short period of time. There is such a genius prodigy in China who successfully solved a century-old problem at the age of 22. After that, he refused the green card of the United States and insisted on serving his motherland. So, who is this young genius scientist? How did he grow into a top scientific talent? What are his unique qualities? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. In today's video, let's walk into Kao Yuan, a talented young Chinese boy. It can be seen from Kao Yuan's schooling experience that he is an out-and-out -out genius. There is no doubt about this. Kao was born in Chengdu, Sichuan in 1996. This boy looks ordinary, but he has a super brain. It took him three years to complete all the elementary, middle and high school courses of China. And these courses, ordinary children need to spend 12 years to learn. When he was young, Cao has a very high interest in hands-on practice. He likes to disassemble and install some small parts of machinery. And he built a small laboratory at home. Unlike children of the same age, his hobbies are all related to science. Although Cao's talent is very outstanding. However, in the process of learning, he did not give up his efforts. Compared with ordinary students, Cao devotes more energy to his studies. Due to the age limit of the college entrance examination, he did not take the college entrance examination until he was 14 years old. In fact, if the age is not limited, he may be able to go to college earlier, and finally he was admitted to the special class for gifted youths of the University of Science and Technology of China with a high score of 669. What kind of students can enter the special class for gifted youths of University of Science and Technology of China? They are all the most talented and outstanding teenagers from all over the country, which is what we call prodigies, and only less than 40 people are admitted each year. In the class of the University of Science and Technology of China, we often see an interesting phenomenon. A group of very young children, who are not tall, are learning those advanced professional knowledge. In his sophomore year, Cao joined Professor Zheng Chang'an's laboratory, and under his guidance, he conducted theoretical research on graphene superlattice plasmons. In university years, he has traveled to top foreign institutions for study and exchange, including the University of Michigan and the University of Oxford. Cao is still outstanding among these talented youngsters. He has won the highest scholarship for many times, and was recommended to Massachusetts Institute of Technology to study for a doctorate with the best grades in the school. Although in the eyes of Americans, the scientific researchability of Chinese people is not outstanding, but after coming to the United States, Cao successfully broke the discrimination with his own efforts. While his peers are still struggling with geometric and functions, he has gone to the best science school in the world. By the way, Cao successfully obtained his PhD from MIT when he was less than 20 years old. The achievements in school are not the peak of Cao Yuan's life, he is still climbing up. In 2018, two papers from China shocked the Nature editorial department, and they were surprised to publish the full text without typesetting. The first author of these two papers is 22-year-old Cao Yuan. Nature is one of the most prestigious scientific journals in the world. It is a high honor for scientists to publish articles on it. Cao, who was only 22 years old, did it, and he did it extremely well. Cao found that if a weak power plant is added to graphene, and it is cooled to minus 273 degrees, and then the two layers of graphene are rotated to an included angle of 1.1 degrees, the graphene will change from an insulator to a superconductor. His discovery solves a world problem that has plagued the physics community for 107 years. This discovery by Cao has created a new field of transfer electronics, which is of historical significance. If this research can be applied to practice, it will change the global new energy market. This genius boy shocked the world and was hailed as the next Nobel Prize winner. 
Although he became famous at a young age, Cao remained sober and never slowed down his research. On May 7, 2020, he once again published two Nature papers in one day, and on February 1, 2021, he published his fifth paper in Nature magazine. At the age of 25, he has published five papers in the world's top academic journal Nature. This is an unprecedented breakthrough for Chinese scientists. The young cow has achieved it and is challenging to a higher peak in this field. It is easy to lose yourself when you are young and famous, but Cao did not. The best proof is that he published his research results one after another. Cao's teacher at the University of Science and Technology of China said if Cao was assigned a task and asked him to complete it to five points, he could finally complete it to seven points, or even more. Cao Yuan has high requirements for himself and has never slack off. The teacher also said that, in fact, there are many outstanding talents in China who are silently doing scientific research. Although the research fields are different, they are equally outstanding. Looking back on Cao's growth experience, we can see that this boy grew up with praise, and he will not be affected by the swarming attention and the voices of the outside world. Compared to facing various media interviews, he prefers to study quietly in the laboratory. After all, that is his job, and that is what he loves. After becoming famous, Cao aroused great attention from the media, and at the same time, the US government saw the huge potential of this young man. The United States offered tens of millions of annual salary and green card benefits, hoping that Cao would become an American citizen, but he resolutely refused. He insisted on going back to China for development and dedicating what he had learned to the development of China's scientific cause. Cao Yuan is the epitome of thousands of Chinese scientists, no matter how great the achievements are, they are all thanks to the motherland. Qian Shuesen was like this decades ago, and so is Cao Yuan today. Today, in the late-night laboratory, there are still countless scientists doing experiments alone, failing again and again, and trying again and again. Most of them are unknown, just like Tu Yuyu, how many people have heard her name before she won the Nobel Prize? But whether it is young or not, whether it is a prodigy or not, does not affect the greatness of a scientist. Because they are selflessly contributing to the global progress of mankind, they are role models for all of us in this era. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.